it's important that we continue to remember him, to spread, share his legacy, to pay tribute to him, and to celebrate him as he was one of those persons who celebrated the next generation of Soka stars, like the one we will talk to next. Not sure who I'm talking about? Well, take in this and you'll get a little clue. And when every way comes up, something happens to the general support of Sanctuary for the state or something. Are you shaking up now? One more. One more. One more. Two. One more. One more. Say one more. Say one more. I'm sure wish he had one more chance to share that stage with the great man Blacks. Akeem Chance is joining us this morning via Zoom. You know him as Pretty. Good morning. Morning, morning. I know morning, watching that greetings, video might have been hard for you, but thank you very much for joining <laughs> yeah, us. Yeah. Actually, yeah, it was. Yeah, man. For those Actually, who didn't yeah. catch it, this was, of course, off of your concert performance in the Taste of Carnival. That was quite the mouthful with the incredible stage presence and guests like Black. So going straight into that memory, tell me what that emotion is like right at this moment. Um, it's definitely surreal. It's surreal even more when I made the statement. Um, don't, don't wait until the legends are gone for us to start celebrating them. Um, fate to come to fruition now. Um, it, it, it definitely is a, a it, it stings a little bit more than than even though we was prepared for it, it still stung. Right. So, but I'm definitely thankful that I had the opportunity to at least share my stage and and share one more performance because it was an amazing performance. Like I, I don't think people who wouldn't there would understand that uh, even up to that stage, blacks was sick. Black was, I, I was told by his management, I was told by 18 band that Blacks could only do one song. The only one song he could do, and he coming to do one song. And we always had a good relationship where uh, he used to treat me like his son. Right. And when he came to the show, he was so much, so full of life. He wasn't getting on like he was sick, he wasn't limping. And when he stepped on the stage, he was only supposed to do one song. Blacks ended up singing five songs with an encore the crowd didn't want him to go and i was thankful that he could have gotten that experience and experienced that level of love right. um not knowing that it would have been our final performance together and continuing in the vein of love i know that you said he's been like a father figure to you what are some of the bigger takeaways that you would have learned from blacks as a performer as a young man um, as a young man coming into the industry, Blacks always used to like to tell me to pull up my pants. Right, you <laughs> Blacks used to. But even, even on the day, I said, Blacks, come on, man. I have a son now, we could use up on that. But that's like, just the kind of person he was. He never used to, kind of, he never used to turn off that mentor type role. Um, he, he exuded that, that um, fatherly figure vibe. Um, some of the takeaway, definitely, in terms of performance and also creating soca music that could also uplift people. Mm -hmm. he, he was one that always wanted to be, to sing soca music that could always raise the spirits of someone who was down or uninspired or, or just feeling at the lowest low. That is what he wanted to use soca as. And definitely, I definitely want to keep that legacy going as soca music is not just created for the the wine and jam or the jump and wave or the fetid music, but um, definitely could be used to inspire and, and help people grow mentally and cope with this world. And I think he showed that with songs like Hulk, Let Go, Mash Up. He always kept a, a, a level of understanding that, listen, no matter what stage you're at in your life, there's always a way out. And I, I think that only comes with age and reasoning, man. 
You always used to get our wisdom in his music. Hi, pretty. Good morning. Kimberly here. Um, I know that you guys hey, collaborated John. recently and you had, you know, this major hit. I was just wondering if you know you consider yourself lucky to be one of the last persons, you know, who Blacks would have collaborated with before his passing. It's so funny you ask that question. Blacks wanted me to hold back that song for next year, Carnival 2023. And my exact words was, General, I don't want to release this song knowing that something happened to you and you're gone and you're not here hmm. for us to actually have a release. So even if it's not a big song, I want to drop it and at least have something out. My exact words. He just laughed. He said, all right, pretty. Go ahead and do your thing. Hmm. Uh, because, you know, the, the coming out of a pandemic, it would have been difficult to at least find videos and, and these things. So I just wanted this song we were saying on this song like two, three years I was happy that he recorded it. My team had a lot of pride behind it, but I didn't want to throw it out and something like this happened in memory. I wanted a sad experience of having a song and being able to put it out there and share the stage together at the same time, you know? So, yeah. and I, I feel like he knew something was going to happen sooner mm -hmm. or later, so he understood the reasoning. But, um, it would not have been the first song I wrote for him. I had the pleasure of writing a couple of songs for him and the experience of working with um, Roy Cape and being in a band room, being around him, um, doing overseas shows with him. And Black was a genuine, genuine, amazing person, real talk, you know? Yeah. Now, you know, you mentioned that, you know, he was supposed to only perform one song and he came up and he performed five and there was, you know, an encore from the audience. I mean, there was something that set Blacks apart from all the other soca artists within the industry. Blacks. What do you think that was? Um, I think Blacks, I think Blacks enjoyed being the godfather of the industry or a legend because he took his role as a mentor extremely mm -hmm. serious. Every opportunity he got to at least give advice, share light, buff you. If he find you doing some sharpness, he's not putting water in his mouth to buff you, he don't care. But especially in my case, he always used to allow me to explain my reasoning behind why I did what I did or, the, or what made me turn the direction and, and probably not heed to his advice. Um, case in point, um, in the early days, he wanted me to join Roy Cape. And that was real early in my career. And I just came out of working with a, 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 a another cover band. And I was just, I just wanted to kind of just move by myself a little bit. And I explained that to him. He was a little disappointed, but he understood. He never hold it against me, even though he used to remind me every time you link up on the reason. <laughs> and he, he definitely would just concerned about the culture genuinely concerned about the culture and actively trying to do something to at least keep the the legacy of soca music soca artists coming out good performers good focus and people creating good music year after year for the sake of the art form alive mr akim chance pretty morning sir Did you see my brother? happy birthday in advance just in case i miss it happy <laughs> no, it's quite it's time. quite it's later than me man <laughs> Well, good afternoon. Well, I know, I know, I know it's a sad moment, and I could hear yeah, it in your voice man, because man. you, you're a jovial person. You know what I mean? But nah, the general, the general, he wouldn't want me to be down, you know. True, true. He wouldn't, true. Really, he wouldn't, he wouldn't want me to be sad and thing. But yeah. I feel like it, it, it is good that you feel pain when you lose someone of importance, someone yeah. that had a great impact in your life. Now, so the pain yeah. is a good thing. The, 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 the sadness is a good thing. But we also have to rejoice in the memory that the Blacks is one of the few artists of his age that left with hits. Not just he got a hit this year and missed last year. Mm -hmm. Consistent mm -hmm. hit after hit after hit yeah. after hit for the last what, 30 years, 20 years. And a lot of artists aren't able to achieve that. So I think he's definitely a, 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 a unique um mark that should be studied that should be celebrated um that should be used as a, a example of not, never giving up despite what they what people will say what um sometimes the industry might want you 
But yeah. because of you believing in your dream, believing in yourself, believing that you meant for something, persistency, mm -hmm. persistence always trumps anything. Man. So um, I, I just want to see Trinidad and Tobago. I want to see the government. I want to see the Caribbean, the Soka fraternity to just give Blacks his flowers, celebrate yeah. him as the icon that he is, he <laughs> was, because we don't have many you know, so yeah. we need to get in the habit of celebrating our artists, celebrating our legends, celebrating our icons, because as many say, there's no um, NIS, there's there's no back pay to collect. Right. Like when you have a bad year, you're done. Mm -hmm. And Blacks came back from surgery to be able to stand up on stage mm -hmm. and perform. And he, he, all that time he was fighting the battle, even mm -hmm. before that he was fighting the battle and still found himself on stage performing, entertaining people because that's where his heart was. So I definitely, that's, that's, that's just what I want to see, you know? Celebrate meaning, them while they're here, celebrate us while we're here. Meaning a lot to you, pretty. I know he, he, he had a, a lot to play in your, in your um, upcoming as a soca artist. Um, what can you take or to carry on or to, to, to carry on uh, taking his legacy further, what can you take from him, you as an artist? Well, well, blacks, blacks for me, I feel like blacks used to always enjoy my vocals, and as a singer, um, he always used to tell me he didn't like he, shout, he didn't like me shouting behind the music right. and those kind of things. So he was a very specific individual, and for me, my takeaway from blacks is that to continue to to be um multifaceted in the whole um music cycle in the whole because trinidad yes is a land of soca yes black used to sing he is a soca artist but we also sang he also sang reggae he also mm -hmm. liked to sing r and mm -hmm. he was rockers and as an artist too i try to create music outside of soca music whereas we have um groove r and ish type music dance mm -hmm. music so and reggae music so my my goal is to continue pushing the envelope of what the artists from Trinidad and Tobago could do in multiple genres of music while staying true to his own, you know, while stay, while continuing to push the culture and defend soca because a lot of people try to play down soca to just be in this wine and jam, right. but they don't right. understand the 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 mental side of soca where it 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 pushes you to just enjoy life and live to the best of your ability, no matter the situation you're in, just enjoy it. Be happy with it, you know? So well, leaving on a that, happier that's the things note, I want to continue to share. I'm saying leaving on a happier note because you have a unique position of having written for him as well as performed and shared the stage with him. What is your favorite yeah, blacks, really? Um, honestly, I don't have a favorite blacks. When blacks step on stage, tell them, because yeah, they will take and they go in, ha, ha, but then they're going to spread your hands and let go. Listen, blacks just has so many songs that forces you to just sing, you mm -hmm. know? So I personally do not have a favorite blacks. I have a few multiple favorite black songs <laughs> and I look forward. Um, uh, there's a show I have in point 14 on the first um that's one of the first shows that called me to do a black tribute and i look forward to doing a proper black tribute i also did one in the stadium for him during the trinidad versus guyana game and it definitely felt good seeing the response to his, his music how people wake up to his mm -hmm. music and those things so mm -hmm. um blacks blacks is just a g boy real G. blacks <laughs> is the godfather boy the Godfather of Soca. <laughs> well, let me say thank you very much for joining us to share some of that insight on the Godfather of Soca. Thank you for continuing to fly the flag high like you did at the football match and beyond. And of course, we'll talk soon, but for now, have a great morning. <laughs> Pretty ladies and gentlemen, taking us to the break as we get ready to continue to celebrate people right here at home in the home of TTT. You'll see who I'm talking about when we get back from the break. We have more.